Hello everybody, Noah from Scratch Genius here. Today I am back with another tutorial, this time about how to make an 100% pen thumbstick in Scratch. I hope you will enjoy this video, and let's get into it. Do keep in mind that this is a tutorial for advanced users, and it would be very, very helpful if you have a basic knowledge of trigonometry, that way you will be able to understand what we're doing. And with that out of the way, let's start making it. First of all, I'm going to paint a sprite, Although, since it's going to be a 100% pen, I don't really have to paint anything over here. Then, the first thing I'm going to do is create three variables. The first one is going to be for the thumbstick x. Then the next one is going to be for thumbstick y. And then the last one is going to be thumbstick radius. With that finished, I'm going to go over to Events, drag in a one green flagged clicked block, and then a forever block. Although before the forever block, we're going to put all three of these variables. And then, as you guessed, we're going to set them to the X position, the Y position, and the radius that we want our thumbstick to be. For the X, I'm going to do a minus 150. The Y, I'm going to do minus 100. And for the radius, I'm going to do 50. Then in the forever block, I'm going to drag in and erase all, and then I'm going to go and make my own custom block. I'm going to call this draw circle. Then I'm going to add an input of the x value, the y value, and r for the radius. Make sure to check run without screen refresh. Then I'm going to drag this in, and these values are going to be the thumbstick x, the thumbstick y, and the thumbstick radius. Now for the definition of the draw circle, I'm going to create two variables. One is going to be i for the iteration of the repeat block, and another one is going to be the circle quality. There. At the beginning, I'm going to set the iteration to 1, and then I'm going to drag in a repeat block. We are then going to repeat circle quality. Now to make it so I can actually draw the circle, I'm going to go over to motion and drag in a go to block. Now I'm going to drag in a cosine, switch this to cosine, and it's going to go to the cosine of 360 for 360 degrees divided into circle quality multiplied by i. Now the reason we're doing it like this is because let's say our circle quality is 36 well then it's going to divide 360 into 36 which is 10 which means we have to turn 10 degrees for 36 times then we're going to lastly multiply it by our radius and add our x position. I'm going to drag this into the x slot, then I can right click and duplicate that, switch this to sine, since sine is for the y, and then switch this from x to y. Before we test this, there's a few more things we have to do. One of the first ones we should do is go to variables and set the circle quality to something like 36 at the beginning. The next thing we should do is right click on this and duplicate it and put it at the beginning. You'll see why this is super helpful later on. Then we should go to pen and make it pen up after setting i to 1 and then make it go pen down after going to this position. We should also make it so that it changes i by 1 after it goes to the position every time it repeats. So now if we test this, well you should see that a circle appears there. Really cool, except that it has this small problem over here. Now this is very easy to fix. All you have to do is go take away the circle quality and actually change it so it's circle quality, whoops, circle quality plus 1. So now if we run it, you should see that we have a full circle. Super awesome. 
a few more things I want to do quickly before I end this video is simply make it so that it sets the pen size bigger, something maybe like 5, and also set the pen color to black. I'm also going to hide all of the variables. And that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe, that way you won't miss the future parts of the series. Also, if you have any suggestions or ideas for future videos, don't forget to post them in the comment section below. Have fun, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!